Praise God, everybody. Uh, welcome back to uh, Check In Tuesday. Uh, just blessed to uh, uh, get to talk with you for a few moments. And uh, first of all, I just want to say God is good. <laughs> and you should be said all the time. And especially right now. Well, we do give God all praise and all thanks for uh, uh, this time. Uh, just want to give you a few announcements and uh, kind of let you know what's going on. Uh, if you looked at the news, I think you still know that we're going into a phase one. Uh, we're still no more than 10 people, so we're going to uh, stay with that until we get into phase two. And then once we go to phase two, I, have some, I will have some special information to uh, let you know uh, what we will be doing and, and how we will go about the phase two part and I, I feel like and I thank God I think that you'll you'll be happy with what I'm doing. Uh, just a few announcements. Uh, we're going to continue our food drive for uh, one more week. I just got back from the food bank. Uh, we were blessed. I just came from that way and we were blessed. Uh, the Roger Jesse Food Bank and so we're going to do one more Tuesday uh, from 9 to 12. Uh, and uh, you also can uh, drop everything off at Hicks Market uh, seven days a week, and, and we'll pick it up for there, from there. And uh, again, I just want to take time to, to thank everybody so much uh, for what you've done. Oh, how, how blessed. This has been a blessing and a half. Uh, the community, the churches, different organizations, not only in Russell County, but Wise County, Washington County, uh, folks have reached out to us and blessed our, our food bank in, in such a way, uh, not only with canned food, but also financially. So we, And one of the things I told Brother Leon that I was going to share with you today, uh, since a lot of you have given the money to us, given money, uh, the money that you give to the food bank goes straight to the food bank for food. Uh, we don't use that money for anything else. Uh, uh, our churches, our church, it takes care of the light bill, the water bill, the insurance, anything that would happen as far as the building's concerned, uh, all the material, paper towels, anything like that that we use there, that is, is taken care of. That money, the money that you give for the food bank goes straight for food to help the needed families in uh, Southwest Virginia. And God touched our heart to do that a long time ago. And I, I'm telling you that because I want you to know uh, what's happening with the money that you give when you give money. And we want to be accountable. So always remember, when you send and you say you're giving this to the Roger Jesse Food Bank, it goes just for food and nothing else. So I wanted you to know that. So again, thank you for all the help for helping us to be able to help these needed families. You have uh, really stepped up to the plate. So we thank everybody that's been a part of that. We've tried to send thank you notes to those that, that give us checks uh, and if we know of others. And, but those that we can't give you thank you notes, we, we want to say thank you right now. So thank you so much. Uh, tomorrow night, uh, Wednesday night, uh, Deacon uh, Danny Hager will be doing uh, a Bible study. I think it's a continuation of, of last uh, last month. And he will be speaking at... Uh, 7 p.m. So uh, be ready and tune in for that. Uh, that lesson has been really good. And then on Sunday morning, we have a, a special treat for you. Uh, Minister Pam Kane, and that's going to be Mother's Day. Now, she probably won't speak on Mother's Day. She's going to probably speak on whatever whatever God gives her. And uh, she's a powerful woman of God. And Minister Camp Pam Kane, and she will be speaking at the 11 a.m. service. And then uh, Brother Marcus and Sister Amelia Johnson will be doing the songs that morning. Uh, I know you're going to be blessed, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that, excited about it. And then at uh, 7 o'clock that night, uh, Sister Hope McConnell, Minister Hope McConnell, she will be speaking that night. So uh, uh, looking for a blessed day uh, on Sunday. Uh, the church is always open for prayer on Monday from 10 to 12. And also on Thursday from 4 to 6 p.m. And so we're going to continue to do that. And uh, uh, I, I just thank God, guys. I just thank God for you. I thank God for what all you're doing. I wanted to, to share just a, 
a little something with you before we go. I didn't want to keep don't want to keep you long. Kind of goes with uh, what I talked about Sunday, but I got a little excited and I was ready to shout and run. I I about had a Jesus spell, but uh, just wanted to kind of finish up. Just a little bit of what I was saying this morning, God just began to deal with me with the whole thing again about his presence. And it comes from uh, Joshua chapter 1. And in Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 it says, I have not, I have not, I have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage. I think you heard Brother Steve talk about that when he talked about the Rock Kasak Amas, the Hebrew war call. Uh, but he said, have I not commanded you, be strong in a good church, do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And so that comes back to the presence of God. He's always there, no matter what. We, we say greater is he that is within me than he that is in the world, but let something come at us and, and we forget who's in us. We forget who's with us, as I said Sunday. But I, I, I want to ask you, what are some areas in your life that you feel fear? What are some of the areas in your life that you feel fear? Like right now, I'm way out of my comfort zone. I, I, I have trouble with, with cameras. I have trouble when I'm on TV and so there is a, a, a kind of fear that, that rises up in me to do this. It, there, there are the butterfly things. I'm a lot better as, as Freddie said the other day I'd rather just be talking to 200 people than to be talking to this camera. But I choose to trust God more than my emotions. And as I've told you guys at Morning Star before, even if you're scared, just do it scared. But if, if it's something God is calling me to do, if it's something I know that the Holy Spirit is leading me to do, and even if I'm afraid, I'll do it scared. Why? Because I'm trusting in the power of God more than my emotions. I tell you guys all the time, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not to thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he'll direct thy path. And I told you that, that word acknowledge in the Hebrew was yada. That's an intimate, personal relationship with God. In everything that I'm about, in everything, I'm going to trust God. In everything, I'm going to include God in it. And you probably, some of you sitting there said, Woody, you've told me that a million times. And I'm going to keep telling you, I'll tell you a million more times until you get it in your spirit. You see, it's not enough just to hear it. You've got to get it into your spirit. Oh, hallelujah. You've got to get it into your spirit, man, that you begin to walk in it. And I choose, don't you, so we need to choose to walk in that trust. Trusting in him, acknowledging him, yada him, having an intimate, personal relationship with God with everything in our life. And so I pray again, I pray that your focus on Jesus will be that, be automatic. When your trouble come, I told you that I said so I lose my focus now for a little while. But I, I want it to be automatic that that when the dots come or when the troubles come, that I don't even lose my focus. I stay right there. And so you know, I told you about my prayer, and we're checking them to see if we can get some more of the prayer warriors' prayers. Or if you we want some, holler at us. Or we're either gonna make some ourselves if we can get permission to do it. But may I keep that that, that hem of salvation. May I keep my mind focused on you. So Satan won't have a stronghold on my thought heart, my thoughts. So I'm 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 trying to stay focused on Jesus. I'm trying to stay focused on the power of God. So he says again, have not I commanded you, be strong in a good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. God is with you. Wherever you go, I don't care where you are, I don't care where you go, God is with you. And when I can remember, that's enough for me, that I've got the power of God walking with me. I've got Jesus Christ. He, we used to sing that song, he's in front of me, he's behind me, he's beside me. Well, praise God, he's in me. So, are you afraid? Or is there something that, that, that's got you afraid from doing what God wants you to do? Oh, I want to be able to witness, but I'm afraid. I want to be able to get up and speak, but I'm afraid. 
Why don't you trust in the power of Almighty God and let God do it for you? He'll speak through you. He'll give you the words to say. And, and just hold on to Jesus. Hold on to Jesus. So, again, don't lose your focus. Keep your eyes on the presence of God. And, you know, we'll never fail to give you the praise. I, I want to pray with you today if I can. I'm, I just feel that in my heart. I want to just, Father God, in the name of Jesus, everyone, God, that, that's looking today, I just pray that you will bless them. And, God, if that, if that, that, that spirit of fear, God, uh, that, that even when they're afraid, They'll do it anyway. They'll just do it. Knowing that you're going to help them. Knowing that you're with them. Knowing that you'll never leave them. Knowing that, that, that you are always there wherever they go. And give them the strength today. Lord, we pray for families right now. Maybe there, there are families that are hurting. Though they have loved ones that are sick. They don't know what to do. God, will you touch them in a special way? Now, God, I thank you. I thank you that, that you are strengthening I thank you, God, for how you're blessing and how you're moving in people's lives. And God, may we just always keep our eyes on you. Keep our eyes on you, knowing that you will lead and you will guide and you will direct us in the way that you would have us to go. And Father, you know we'll never fail to give you the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, I love you. Ain't nothing you can do about it. And I'll see you probably next Tuesday. All right. God bless you.